picked up the last member, Sarakito. Finally, the time was here to travel to Peru. I didn't want to come there for a long time because I wanted to sail the longest wave in the world. Checking in to go to Pacasmayo. We have more bags than uh, expected. Seven. Six. How many hours? Ten hours traveling now or twelve in the bus? The check-in with the bags uh, to go on the bus was pretty hard, so we just made it on time. Like the second we stepped into the bus, the doors closed and off we went to Pacasmayo. That was too stressful. <laughs> What's made me most excited about arriving in Pakismayo is that I actually, for the first time, traveled with putting uh, air tags on my board bags. And since we only have half of our gear here, I can actually track my board bags. And I see that they're on their way now, closer to, to Pakismayo than uh, Lima. So uh, tomorrow is the day. hospital. <laughs> Good job, Sarah. Good job. You look like you're dying over here. I feel like I'm dying. <laughs> My uterus is destroying me. <laughs> That's what actually hurts. But what I need to get stitches for is in my foot. Well, well, you cannot start like that because you cannot start it like that. Hey, this is real life. How do we get inside? At some point I realized I cut my foot. It was bleeding quite a bit. And yeah, I ended up going to the hospital getting three stitches, which I was such a sissy. I was so scared to get the needle in my foot and at least Udo was there to hold my hand. The hospital was almost the highlight of the day because the doctor came in with music and we were all just like kind of having fun in there. And it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. So yeah. Uh, that was the end of the first day. Hopefully the next few days uh, I can just keep on windsurfing. Well, today is a little bit more chilly. We had a crazy day on the water. This was like big Thursday that everyone talked about for the whole week. water just riding the waves just when you like push for the bottom turn and have a proper top turn and you hear the rap it was magical so it was actually really fun to see Uda on the water also <laughs> one time when it was crossing the waves going up I saw the back of the wave and I saw Uda sail and it was moving a lot so I'm guessing she was popping for her life <laughs> suddenly the whole wave just like whoop pumping like crazy in front there's not much wind but uh, I made it out of that one at least <laughs> when it went out the was not that big but during the session it just picked up more and more and more I had my first proper washings my first swims ended up down at the beach had to do the walk of shame Whew, out of the comfort zone but uh, that's when you feel like you're really alive it was a big day for a freestyler I really love the feeling of foiling and I've been training a lot of pump foiling so I'll be ready for these conditions so I could pump to the next wave and just connect them all and that has been a big goal for me.
actually that was insane I'm like almost shaking actually because I had just never been on such a small foil out there the foil was felt just so like fast I know I felt like I was on another planet or something Sarah you need to try it actually of control all the time. Oh my god, if this was not my best day in my life, or at least this year, I don't know. I think it was the first time I went on such a small foil in these type of waves and it was like really, really epic. Tomorrow we are planning on going to uh, Chicama. Apparently that is the longest wave around here in Peru. It's a wave that breaks in the same spot every time. So it will be really nice for surf foiling and just surfing. So uh, adventure day coming up tomorrow. We got up at 5 a.m. in the morning to pack all of our stuff and drive one hour south of Shikama to experience the longest wave in the world. So we're right in Shikama now and we are the, where we're gonna stay the next days. We have a boat that will get us out um, for 20 minutes. Pretty excited to surf on one of the longest waves. Everything on this trip, kite wave, windsurf wave, surf foiling, it was magical and a dream come true and we had a blast. <laughs> 